that with a little bit of force. Yeah, let's get some force behind it. Let's get some. <laughs> just a little bit, just a little bit, just a touch. Now good. Now you're ready. So, Francesca, what did you have for dinner last night? Oh, um, French toast with uh, fresh berries. For dinner last night? Yeah. Oh, that sounds good. That's yeah. what I had for dinner. Delicious. What did you have for breakfast today? Oh, same thing. I'm on my French toast and fresh berries kick. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Um, the whole concept behind my design and approach for my banner for the Urban Forest Project was, um, you know, you can approach sustainability um, and uh, the environment through either uh, the individual, the, uh, through local, through national, through global. And sometimes if you approach sustainability through um, global, it's kind of like this overwhelming problem and you just don't know how to approach it or how it can be solved because it's so large and complex. And so I just decided to do the individual. And I said, what can each person do to help reduce their carbon footprint? Um, what can you do to reduce waste? And so that's why I chose um, my theme of like consume less, bring your own bag, buy nothing day. Um, I thought those were things that the individual could do to uh, reduce waste and again, reduce your carbon footprint. My inspiration for design, it can, I hate to sound really like open-ended, it can be anything. Um, you know, I do, I do look at cliches because uh, sometimes you can use a cliche and you can, um, you know, transcend its, you know, its, its ubiquity. Um, but I do love to go on to um, websites like iStock and I wanna look at all those cliches and say, okay, that's what's been done. Um, how can I move beyond that? So that's what I use as inspiration. And a lot of times the client activates it. Um, I have really good clients as well. Uh, one of my clients, he's funny, he's very, um, he doesn't want to do stuff that's been done in, in his, because he does theater. So when you get someone who, who has a mission statement of innovation, you have to rise to that occasion. And I think in terms of inspiration, you have to look at cliches to see what's been done to move beyond it. I would recommend Urban Forest Project for other cities. Um, I think it's very important that uh, messages of uh, sustainability, reducing our carbon footprint, reduce, reuse, recycle, uh, the urgency of the environmental issues that we are facing now are in, uh, in daily existence uh, and that everybody is exposed to those messages and it will make them think about what they're doing, how they can consume less, modify their behavior, use energy efficient project, uh, products, um, you know, again, reduce their carbon footprint. So uh, if you have the Urban Forest Project in uh, every city in America, you'll have that message out there and people will start thinking about that. Um, I think billboards is a good example. You know, billboards, you see billboards a lot and the messages are buy this, you know, buy that. So what if we had the Urban Forest Project functions like that, those banners, except they're better messages, you know, they're not messages like buy the cigarette. It's like, hey, have you thought about uh, using more energy efficient products? Um, how are you gonna help the environment? How are you gonna consume less? So I, I really do see Urban Forest Project banners as a better solution to billboards that are just promoting commercial products. <laughs>